Have you ever wondered how companies can grow so quickly? How sometimes your competitors just come out of the blue and completely dominate your market. My name's Chevy and in three and a half years, I took a three and a half million dollar HVAC company and brought them to over $10 million in revenue. In fact, we grew so quickly that we were named one of Canada's fastest growing companies according to CanadaBusiness.com. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you exactly what I did as the marketing manager to help us grow so rapidly as well as some of the biggest mistakes I think is holding you back from growing your business. So if you like this content, definitely hit that subscribe button, give this video a like to help it out in the algorithm, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. This sounds like your business, you're definitely gonna wanna keep watching because I'm gonna go over the channels I think work really well, and as well as some of the marketing channels that I believe you should wait later to do. So a quick little background on me, four years ago I started with this company, and I was just a young guy with a couple years experience working for some marketing companies and a lot of ambition. I love doing marketing and I was pretty good at it at the time. When I spoke to the owner, he had countless bad experiences with marketing agencies in the past and he felt like every time he increased his budget, he didn't see it increasing his bottom line or his revenues or really any part of his business other than his expenses. After some discussion, I was really confident I could help out and that's how I got started. I ended up taking over from the previous marketing agency, no pressure, to do absolutely everything in-house for the owner. This brings me to a side note. This doesn't mean that all agencies are bad. I just recommend that if you're gonna go with a marketing company, make sure that they understand your business and make sure they have some proven results in your industry. So you're probably wondering, get to the point, what is it that helped you grow the business? So let's do it. My recommendation is if you wanna grow your business and you wanna dominate your local market, you need to dominate Google. Many people might misinterpret this, that is Google Ads or SEO or whatever it is. The reality is you wanna dominate all of it. When you do a Google search for businesses near you, so let's say you're looking for a plumber, you're gonna say plumbing companies near me or furnace repair companies near me or whatever it is that you do your search for, that's gonna give you a specific set of results inside of Google search. Nowadays, at the very top, you have local service ads. Below that, you have the Google ads. Below that, you have the map pack or the Google My Business. And below that, you have your SEO or your organic rankings. The key that drove the most growth for us is those organic rankings. Because although they're further down on the page, they actually in fact get the most clicks out of the rest combined. This means that the money is in the SEO. And unfortunately, SEO takes a long period of time. So starting off today doesn't mean that you're gonna see those results overnight. Luckily for this company, they had already seen kind of page two, sometimes page three rankings. So I really believe that we can move them up to the front page, get into those top few positions and start driving more qualified traffic. And that's exactly what we did. After just about a year of work, I was able to move them halfway up to the first page, which we saw a big increase in the amount of leads that we were getting from SEO. In fact, nowadays, more than 70% of our leads come from Google search. And that's quite a bit for a $10 million company. So this means that people are going online and either searching for the brand name, so the name of the company, or the services that they provide. Now, I won't get into too much depth about all of the SEO things that I did for the business. Uh, I'll leave that for a separate video of some SEO optimizations, but I just wanna highlight the importance of improving your website. In the period of time, I actually redesigned the pages two, three, four times until I found a formula that worked really well had really high engagement rate, and I found was the best result to help us rank inside of Google. Nowadays, if your rankings aren't the greatest, you might wanna supplement it with Google Ads or local service ads, or even improving your Google My Business listing, which I have a whole nother video on how to optimize that listing, which can help you get a little bit of a boost and hopefully get you into that map three pack. So that's it, that's pretty much it. In those three to three and a half years, we barely ran any Facebook ads. We didn't touch email marketing. We didn't do anything with Yelp or any of those uh, home advisor style um, directories where they sell you leads. None of that. Most, almost all of our business came from Google. And this just goes to show how powerful Google is. So before I get into some of the big mistakes that I saw so many companies making, I'm gonna talk about some of the other marketing that we also did that I think helped lead to this growth with Google. And we did focus on branding. So number one, dominating Google and all the things that I talked about. Number two, we focused on branding. This wasn't any kind of truck wraps or anything like that. Essentially all we did is that we advertised on TV and a bit of the radio 
for the last year or so to increase branded search. But even with that being said, majority of our business still came from Google search and majority of it wasn't branded search terms. But I figured that this is good to point out that there was some branding involved. It wasn't all Google, but for my personal opinion, Google had driven the most traffic and the most business than any other channel, period. So here's the mistakes that you are probably wondering. Well, I've been told to do SEO. I've been told to do Google ads. I've been told to do Facebook ads. I've been told to do Yelp ads. I've been told to buy leads from Angie's List. Where do I start as a small business? And that's a really tough question, but I think branding is, is super important, but you want to get in front of your customers in the most profitable way first. Branding and reaching a large audience through TV or radio costs a lot of money. It's typically quite expensive. It's a high CPM, which is a cost per thousand views. Um, and you don't always get an immediate return on that. So if you're a small business, I would say under a few million dollars, I would recommend starting with online advertising like Facebook or Google and Put money into a good SEO company or a good Google Ads company, or if you have the resources to do it yourself, focus there first. Once you have a profitable system, then at that point, you can start looking into bigger branding opportunities because your pipeline is full, your business, your schedule is full. You can make that full and keep it full. Now, focusing on the branding will drive more people to search for you, improve the performance of everything altogether, and that is the perfect formula for growing your business. And that's exactly how we did it, how we grew from three and a half to just over $10 million in three and a half years, getting highlighted on CanadaBusiness.com. And now they have some pretty insane growth targets, um, which is, is super exciting to see. But for you as, a, as the viewer, I really hope that you enjoyed this content. And I really hope that you got some value in seeing uh, what it took for us to get to a $10 million company. Thank you very much.